Hello, everybody. I am Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks, an official maestro of content for Looney Tunes World of Mayhem. And today, we've got something super special for you. That's right. We're going to talk about the special preview of Save Teams. And let's jump right in. All right, so we've got the game pulled up here, and as you see down at the bottom left-hand corner, normally where you would see tunes, we now see collections. Now, before we hop into this, this is a preview of this feature. It's not expected to roll out fully until July 15th, so there are select random individuals that have gotten this to preview. That way we can give feedback. So keep in mind that what I'm showing you today, some things could change leading up to the actual rollout but what you see right down here replaced tunes is collection so if we click on that we've got a whole new screen here guys a whole new screen now what you're going to see on the left hand side is usually the featured event team and then you've got featured teams uh, from various spotlights like professionals artists imperials now what's really cool here is that you can see right above the professionals here seven of seven their current power, you can see what the final team consists of. And if we were to click into that, it shows us, hey, these are the tunes in that team. Here are some reserve tunes that you can switch out in case you need to. I really, really like that for a couple of different reasons. For one, if you're new to the game, this at least gives you a way to go because if you don't have all of these tunes here, you're going to see like if we go to the Hunter team, because I'm still working on Major Canasta and Contraptionist Egghead's not out yet, you can see that they're grayed out. If we were to click on it, we can see how many pieces we have until we get them. So I really think that this section of it, just in and of itself, super, super helpful to new players uh, who may not know exactly where to go, what to work on. The other cool thing about this section is that uh, let's say, for example, let's just take, um, let's just take the Fiends here. If that's a team I play with, and I want to save that for later on, I just click this button right here. Your team was saved, and we'll show you where that pops up later. But into addition, this featured section, they have a feature that is actually near and dear to my heart. In fact, we have made a PTL infograph just so that people could know where to go. Well, guess what? Not only do you have the PTL infograph, it's in the description below, but you also have a way to visually take a look at it in game. Under the PTL unlock tab, you have all of your path to legendary teams displayed right here. You can see at a glance who all you have, what their star levels are. Now I have currently all of them, uh, but like, for example, Ronin Canasta, I can see right here. I've only got five stars on General Pandemonium. I've only got five on Officer Prissy. I've only got five on Cannoneer Canasta. And I've got six on Curator Porky. So I'm stuck at the five campaign unless I work on those. And if it's a team that you so happen to use and you like, guess what? You can hit the button. Bam, they're saved. Really, really cool right there. I am so happy to see this. In fact, this is... This is honestly better than I had hoped. And let me show you what really puts the icing on the cake. Right down here, manage teams. All right, so we're gonna click on this list right down here, my teams. And you can see I've already made a couple. Country, uh, pros, which I could have just saved the professional team, but I decided to change the name. Oh yeah, we're gonna look at that too. My moon gods, my moonshine team. There's just the straight professional that I saved from up top. Team number three is just something I threw there so that we could go through these featured events. Anti-Dodge, D-Up R&D. I actually put these here. So let me show you how that works. So for example, let's say you want, you've want you got your own team that you like to play with. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. You tap and you're like, okay. So the team I wanna play with, let's say it's gonna be Marvin, right? Um, let's say, and again, we're just we're just doing stuff to do stuff. Let's say Star Pharaoh's in there. Uh, let's throw Nova Bunny in there too, just for just for giggles. And uh, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and throw Evil Granny in there. Now, 
Right now, I've got the team that I want to save. All I have to do, hit the big old save button here. Bam, success, your team was saved. And right here, I could name it whatever I want. Bam, test team. And then, once I name it whatever I want, I can then take an icon and put next to it to kind of give me a quick visual reminder of what it is. So for example, if I was using this team in arena, I would just put that arena icon right there. We've got it saved. We hit okay. We look back at our teams and what do you know? That test team is right there. It shows us the power of the team. We put the icon on it to know that it's for arena. We've got the team right there. All we have to do is go into the game and select a team and watch how quick you can get into a game now. So we're not actually going to go into a full bra brawl battle, but I do want to show you real quick. So for example, let's say we were going to take on this crate right here. We're going to attack. We're going to actually clear this team out so I can show you. And you've got a couple of different buttons over here now. You do have a way that where if you just had a team composition that you made on the fly and wanted to save it, you do have that ability right here. You do have the ability to clear everybody out up top. Instead of clear, it's now a garbage can. And you've got now a team button. So, uh, you can still go to individual tunes and select them. However, it's going to come up team first. And uh, let's just say I wanted to use them. Done. Hit attack. You're into the battle already. Uh, that's just a nice side benefit. No longer are we going to have to go through each and every one of these to try to figure out exactly what the best one would be. Hey, we can look at a glance here. I know these pros right here are about 91, 288. I know my country team's about 104, and I know what they can do. At a glance, at a glance, it is really, really cool. Now, the other thing too, um, somebody had asked me, hey, are there different tabs? Well, besides the featured PTL uh, unlock and my teams, there's not any other tabs, but one thing you could do, and the reason they asked this was because they were thinking, hey, you know, War D, War Offense, Arena Offense. Uh, right now in this preview, um, and I have no clue of whether this will be more later on or not, you have a maximum of 15 teams you can create. However, what you can do is like, let's say, for example, that I wanted to use this team right here um, for, uh, let's just say, War Defense. Well, once you click on them, you can go right up here. I can just say War D1, if that's the way I want to remember it. And then I can totally change the icon. War D1, we're going to put that there. We're going to sit, we're going to say OK. And when we look back at them, it looks like Ward, but War D1 is right there. So there is a massive amount of customization here. I think this is going to make a lot of things easier in the game. Getting into battles quicker. Uh, not having to hunt through your team list. When we're going through war and you're punching down because that's what's available, you're trying to figure out where this 40k team is out of all 200 plus tunes. That just got a lot easier. Trying to figure out what teams you're going to use based on power, based on what they do in arena just got easier. Um, this, if this stays the way it is, uh, if we get a few more save squads in there, um, this is this is game changing. This is better than I thought. Devs, guys who did this feature, guys and gals out there that did this, that came up with this, you did one hell of a job. Guys, let me know down in the comments down below if you're looking forward to this. Let me know if you got into the preview. Uh, remember, guys, we are live five days a week at 1 p.m. Central, and every time a new tune drops in World of Mayhem, you can join me live at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. 901 Tommy Jacks. And that is what we've got for you today. Save squads! Hallelujah! They're finally here. Guys, stay loony! And we're going to catch you down the road.